Hi guys. Groody from Groody's Race and Resto. Thought we'd show you Kurt Telpina. Right. This is quite a unique car. Kurt's quite a um, quite an individual and he's made this car all his own. Kurt did a lot of the stuff on this car, so there's stuff like this, the Bucks BMW. You know, there's the stripes are on this car Kurt actually did himself on the front bar, I'm pretty certain. It's lots and lots of little stuff. It's a really, really neat car. The badges were made for the car because it's 2.7. It's... This car has had so much work over the time, so Kurt's owned this car for quite a while. Bought as a 320 Auto. The Willwood kit fits really, really nice. There's plenty of room. He puts his own center caps on because I don't want to be responsible for them. And uh, he likes it that way as well. So the MTEC 1 side skirts have actually had modifications to fit so well. Convertible side skirts are really hard to get. It's just a real nice, subtle kind of build. The car itself is really, really, really neat. I, I love working on this car. All the parts have, like, it's a little bit dirty at the back. It's a little bit black from the uh, from the exhaust. For the overriders, I like the, I like the little touches. It's like this, the number plates around. The little handle, the lift handle on the boot lid. Just the little stuff really make this car different. And very, very unique. This is this is all Kurt's car. You know, there's little things like this. Has mesh headrests in the rear. And has this awesome little Alpina panel that he's put in the back. Look, a lot of people on people for doing things a little bit differently. This car, I know it's with a phone, so it's a bit of a shitty recording, has a, uh, a real nice set of speaker pods in the doors, has E46 convertible seats. It's just a really tidy example. And, you know, it's got all these Alpina stuff. This is his personal preference. He loves this car. The amount of times he's been through the dash to get all the gauges working. It's got boost gauge. It's got AFR. And it's got nice BMW mats and stuff. It's always, always well looked after. Always cared for. This car's, this car's cared for quite, quite well. And he's proud. Where's the sticker? I thank him for that. So I've moved the bar valve this time. Uh, this is just a generic one we could get. At the time when we built it, the turbo kit was actually second hand. We had de turbo to 325, and this was just a really nice, mild 2.7 Alpina spec engine. And we thought we'd turbo it. So we put some rod bolts, ARP head studs. MLS and the MLS wasn't leaking. Um, the MLS I actually hollow coated each individual layer when I put it on. So we found it was actually a rock cover leak. So hence why I've repaired that. It's got a little nice little oil catch can that drains back to the rock cover. It's a few little things we could tidy up and make it a little bit better. Uh, power steer is a little low down there, but it's it's nice and hidden away. Everything's got its own little spot. Now this car is really, really unique in the fact that the cooler's there and you do not see any of this cooler. We've cut out the grills, we've done a bunch of little things to try and get as much airflow through them as we can. The airflow coil works good. Uh, it's got a mega squirt in it at the moment. You now the mega squirt doesn't have the best TPS pickup. It's just an on-off TPS, so it needs a bit of a needs a TPS change, so that's probably the next thing that'll happen, and then that way we should get a little bit better throttle response off idle. The 3076, you can drive this car, your mum could drive it, anyone could drive it, and it's not an issue, it's easy to drive, but uh, it comes on boost about four. It comes on kind of hard, it's, it's, it's a fun car. 
but it's still an easy car to drive. But yeah, thought I'd give you a really good look. A little bit of an idea. Uh, the car started as a 320 auto convertible. That was a neat, neat example. Kurt has either done all the work or I think I've done what Kurt hasn't done, I think I've done. So I built the exhaust. I did the manual conversion, I built the 2.7, I did all the turbo setup, and sometimes I leave a little, a few things for him to do. He's quite, quite happy and quite capable. It's just so, so many little touches that make this car what it is. And it's done so well. There you have it, guys. She's, uh, She's the 2.7 turbo Alpina convertible. No, to the purists that want to bitch and moan and jump up and down, no, it doesn't have an Alpina compliance plane. Yes, it's cool. And it's fast. And I don't think any uh, C2 2.7 Alpinas would actually touch this car in the hills or anywhere else. And I think he's done an absolute amazing job. The, uh, the mesh headrests. They kind of finished the back for me. I really like that. But yeah. Yeah, thought I would uh, share one of the really, really nice ones that we've put a lot of work into over the last five years. Kurt came to buy a set of mirrors. And uh, we become friends and have a passion for his vehicle, both of us. I love his vehicle as much as he loves it. I won't do a drive in this car. I won't do a drive review. I'll just do just a, a look and a review this way. And then that way, um, look, I, re I really respect this gentleman and I respect his car. And if he wants to do a drive review, I will quite happily film him driving his car. But yeah, it's got such, so much nice stuff happening here. And it's such a pleasure to drive, even being a convertible. It's got a really nice stereo. Yes, he's, uh, I appreciate this car and I appreciate the friendship that I have with the owner of this car. Gentlemen like this, they're the ones that you want to work on their vehicles because you know they're patient, they're happy to spend the money in the right places and they have as much passion as I do for their vehicle. So for me, it's, uh, it's always pleasurable to work on a gentleman's car that is on the same page as what I am. But yeah, I'll do a, do a final walk around. Hold on. There was a little bit of shit on top of the battery. I just wipe that off. And some cars I won't wash once I'm finished. Some I will. I don't like to wash Kurt's car um, as much as I'd love to. I've done it a few times because it got really dirty when it was here for periods of time. But uh, he's got his way of washing it, so I respect that. And sometimes I give it back to him dusty and dirty. I might blow it off with air blower or wipe some spots over, but I don't polish it or anything like that. That's actually his choice of all the products he uses. Nice car. You've got to sometimes respect their wishes and for me I've told him I I don't like to wash his car you know I I know even if I wash this car he'll take it home and he'll rewash it again <laughs> thanks guys as always if you like the E30 content uh, it'd help if you shared some and then that way what happens is I get moved up to the top of the spot and my videos will come up and hopefully I can get enough enough subscriptions and enough likes that I can keep showing some really, really nice stuff. This isn't about money for me. This is just about leaving something that people can see that I've done. And it's also about these cars. Look at that. Gorgeous. Thanks, guys. Hope you enjoy your weekend.